My name is Greg Huffman, and I've come up with a cool multiplication trick for the number 9. Oh okay, yes, here, watch this. For example, here we go. Let's try to save it. See, you have to work in a series, like say 53, you see this 53? You think 51 to 60. That's what the um, series number will be. You ignore this 0 here. Focus on the 6. Now you have 9 times 53, and the 53, hold on, okay, um, as I was saying, 53 minus 6, that's this number here, you take the one in front of the series, it starts from 1 to 10, and it goes from like, it, it's a series of 10 numbers anyway. So 53 minus 6, of course, is 47. Now, these numbers add up to 11, so let's see. What you need is, take the 11, plus x, and you want to get the nearest multiple of 9, uh, because all numbers, multiples of 9, are going to either be 9, 18, what, at any rate, they're going to reduce to a base of 9. So, what you want here is equal up to 18, see that's the nearest next base. So, of course, x will equal uh, 7. So, you take the 47 you got here, and add a 7 onto it, and that should be the answer, 477. Now we'll go on to our next one, time number uh, 467. So, 461, 3, 4, 70. Alright, so, you take the number right here, no matter how big the number is, circle it, 47, 467 minus 47, which would be 427. Okay, so when you got 427, you add them up, adds up to 13. So 13 plus x, but we'll, you got to equal up to a, and, but you know it's 5, so we'll just skip that. Okay, so 427 and a 5, and that is your answer. Alright, same for this one, 791 through 800. Ignore the first zero, and it's 794 minus 80. Yes. That becomes 714. I came up with this last night. So, actually, it was midnight last night. So, actually, it was technically today. Anyway, that's not important right now. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so remember that would equal 12. Of course, you gotta get that 18. And that's a 6. And you can check your answers. I'll go ahead and check them all by real quick. I'd like to apologize. I accidentally did the math wrong. I think uh, minus 461 minus 470. Anyway, uh, I, I'm kind of sleepy, but I figured I'd go ahead and do this. So I apologize for that. I'm going to show you some exceptions. So let me pause the camera real quick. I'm going to show you some exceptions that they're actually easier than the pattern for them, which is a lot easier. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Numbers that ended 1 or 0. For example, at 9 times 20. Push the circle to 2. 20 minus 2 equals 18. Now, normally you'd say, well, this adds up to 9. But, of course, the way it's set up, because it's end, or in the beginning, I could say, it's, you just throw a 0 on it. Because it ends with 0, and you think 9 times. Zero, whatever, you know, whatever works for you. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, a number like 311, circle with 32, that's what's important. Alright, so 311 minus 32, um, 21, 279, I believe. I'm kind of tired, so I'm not doing obvious math <laughs> right, but I hope you apologize, or uh, see what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, 279. Now, this will add up to 18. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do that out. But you know it adds up to 18. So, you think, well, you know, it'd already be right. So I could just put 0 or whatever the fuck I want to do. But when you see the 1, you put a 9 there. Because that's the exception to the rule. So, uh, I hope this has been informative despite my major fuck up right there. But you still get the, the gist of what I'm. I'm if came up with a cool trick which works on any number and you can impress your awesome buddies with your awesome abilities by showing them how to get three digit nine tones whatever in your head so wow that's awesome anyway uh, this is
Greg Hoffman. Right, Pope Treatment. Yeah. Wait. Not a bit now, so I hope you enjoyed that awesome math lesson. Fuck you, I'm just kidding.